hey guys, so as some of you may know, Marquez launched his own wallpaper app called Panels. And I think that's great. Like, it shows how much people are starting to care about elevating their lock screens and home screens with high quality wallpapers. It's kind of the same with interior design, fashion, or even phone cases. Lots of us do care about the aesthetic experience that we get from our screens. So I'm quite excited to see more creators step into the wallpaper scene and create some beautiful designs for everyone to enjoy. And as someone who's also a tech creator with also his own wallpaper app, Wallpapers, that we launched exactly one year ago, I'm quite familiar with the whole process of making your own wallpaper app, the challenges behind it. And therefore, I want to give you guys my review of Marquez's new app. And yes, I do have to say, I am definitely biased towards our wallpapers app here, but I'll try to give you guys my best and honest opinion and highlight both the positives and the negatives of both panels and wallpapers and see where we can both improve. I actually got this idea from Carpe. I love the series of nothing CEO reviews compared to their product. So yeah, I hope I can do a fair job here. And we're gonna cover everything from the icon to the sign up screen, UI, wallpaper quality, creators, price, and even touch upon the development process right at the end. Okay, so let's start with the icon. So Panels features this super clean icon where you can see a 3D view of some of the wallpapers on an orange background, which seems to be their color scheme. Whereas with wallpapers, we've got a stack of cards and our wallpapers logo on our purple theme. Now, if you're on iOS 18 and you switch to dark mode, Panels also comes with this pretty cool dark mode icon. Same goes for app wallpapers where we do have an iOS 18 ready dark theme icon. However, Ours is not live just yet, so we will be releasing a new update soon, which should be by the end of this week, depending on approvals, which will include this iOS 18 Dark Mode icon and a couple of more changes. This does already work on Android though. So all in all, I think they've got a pretty clean looking icon, quite minimal and simple. I was hoping to maybe see some red and black theming from NKBHD here, uh, but I guess they wanted to go with a different color scheme, which is also fine here. Now, once you've downloaded panels, the first thing that you get is, of course, the login screen. We've actually got this as well, but ours is a bit different. So with panels, you're immediately asked about data sharing. And it does seem like they do have quite a lot of options here. Of course, it's up to you which one you want to enable or not. Um, and to be honest, this may seem strange, but it actually does make a lot of sense because they do have ads. So advertisers do require specific data. Uh, and this is why they have a couple more data requirements than we do. Now, once you've accepted that, you get this really nice looking logging screen, which gives you a preview of some of the wallpapers, and then you can sign in with Apple, sign in with Google, or join their subscription model. Uh, more about that later. So you're probably wondering, why do you need a login for a wallpaper app? Well, it's because they're syncing your account and collection across iOS and Android, which we're actually doing as well. And what I do like about uh, panels is that you can actually skip the logging process entirely. So if you don't like that, you can actually skip it. So I think that's great. We don't actually have that in wallpapers. More about that in a second. Something that I also quite like is that you can join their newsletter. So we also don't have that. Do let us know if you think we should introduce a newsletter as well. I do quite like the idea of keeping you guys easily up to date. Currently, we do this via our wallpapers Discord. So our approach is a bit different. So when you open up wallpapers, the first thing that you get is this login screen that shows you the most unique things about our app, such as the AK quality, also the creator community that we've got, also, the fact that you get 10 wallpapers per pack and one for free, a new packs every Tuesday and Friday, and a lot more. And then, of course, after that, you get the login page. So just like panels, we also offer Apple and Google login, but additionally, we also offer login with email. This is pretty cool. You basically just get a link, you press that link in your email, and you're automatically signed in with no password required. We also offer the option to log in and sign up via a username and password, and you can literally have anything here. Uh, you don't have to input your email. So if you don't want to, you don't have to. And in terms of the data that we collect, since we've got no ads, there's no need for location tracking or anything really. So email is the only data that we do collect. And that's only when you use sign in with Google or sign in with email. So for Apple, there's no email collection. And obviously for login and sign up, there's also no email collection either. Uh, we also collect diagnostics, so crash data, that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's that's it. However, right now, you cannot skip the logging page. And that's because most of our functionality is tied to having an account. So your favorites, previously applied wallpapers. And yes, we do not have the option to skip it. We will be introducing that because a lot of you have requested that. But in the meantime, if you don't want to input any data, just use login and sign up. And you can use it like that. So what about the UI? Well, panels and wallpapers are very different here. So with panels, the moment you log in, you're asked to select five of your different creators. And I'm assuming that 
your wallpapers will then get tailored based on what those creators have made, although you don't necessarily know what these creators made beforehand. So I think that would be good to be adjusted here. But yeah, once you're in, the UI is really clean. You get Marquez at the top, you get a slide over panel that you can uh, swipe between featured artists, wallpaper of the week, collection of the week, and also uh, upgrade to panels plus. And then you get this infinitely scrolling list essentially, and you get a lot of wallpapers here, which I do like. And I actually think this is a way faster and easier method of exploring wallpapers than we have in wallpapers. Uh, it's a more traditional grid view, but I think this is actually better than uh, than what we have because it's it's quite a bit faster. And this is the default page. By the way, there's three pages, so this is the explore page. And yeah, I quite like this design. What I'm not a fan of is that you do get ads here. So this is an ad for the subscription model. And then if you keep on scrolling, you'll get different ads for different apps. So yeah, I'm not, not a fan of this. I don't like ads really. And um, yeah, that's why we've got no ads in wallpapers. However, I do think they've done a good job with their ads because a lot of other apps that do have ads, uh, they have them at the top or the bottom. So they actually interrupt the UI in a negative way. Whereas in their case, you know, they do interrupt it, but it's not, it's not too bad. And you know, there's not that many ads. So I think it's an okay implementation, a pretty decent one actually, I would say, of uh, ads in a wallpaper app. And something that I also really love is their search implementation. So if you tap here, you can search for anything really. You can search for a wallpaper based on the style, so abstract. You can also pick the color, so red. Uh, and it's it's really easy, honestly. This is Their search system is way better than what we have in wallpapers. I'll show you that in a second, but yeah, super easy to use, pretty intuitive. Uh, yeah, they've honestly done a great job here. Also on this page, you'll probably notice that some wallpapers are single wallpapers, whereas some are collections. Uh, we call ours packs, uh, and uh, they seem to have collections of different sizes here. So some have more wallpapers, some have less, and uh, you do need to buy these individually. Then they've got two more pages. So it's a very simple UI, which I do quite like. So they've got the For You, which suggests wallpapers based on what you like. Uh, then you've got your previously liked wallpapers. So you can actually like them from here, and they will appear on your like page. And then you've got a library which will contain uh, your wallpapers that you have purchased in the past. And then you've got the account page, which is where you can log in if you skip that at the start. You can also change the theme here. So we've got light mode, dark mode, and you can also change the icon, which is quite interesting. We don't have this in wallpapers, and they do have some interesting designs here. So if you want to tailor that, um, then uh, yeah, there you go. You can do that. So that's, that's pretty cool. So overall, it's a really clean UI. I do like it very simple to use, very fast to navigate. Even though it is more traditional wallpaper app UI, I do think it's great for fast navigation and fast discovery. Now with wallpapers, our UI approach is actually quite different. So we are focusing on packs of wallpapers, so collections of 10 rather than individual wallpapers. So if you can see right here, this is how we group them. So uh, we group them based on release months. And if you scroll up and down, you have September, August, uh, July, all the way down to September 2023, which is when we launched. You can also scroll left and right to go between different packs in that month. And then you can also use the haptic scroll wheel to scroll inside a pack. And this is really cool because it provides you haptic feedback. And then we also have a really nice frosted glass element where uh, we have frosted glass on the top and bottom. And uh, this is something that you'll see throughout our app. Frosted glass, so we've got it here in the menu as well, and then haptic feedback throughout the entire app. And just like panels, we've also got three pages here. So this is the main page, this is the pack view where you can view the packs, and then you can also view the individual wallpapers that are free in a grid view. So if you want to see a grid view, we do have this too, and we don't have any ads. So everything is super clean, uh, no interruptions, no ads. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've got this too. Then we've got the favorites page where all of your favorited wallpapers will go. So super simple to use. And then we've got the search page, which also doubles as a creator page. So more on that later. Uh, and our search system is more simple. So you can basically search for, you know, blue wallpapers that you want to see. And uh, yeah, you'll get blue wallpapers. Some, to be honest, we do have some green ones here, tints of blue. Uh, so maybe we need to optimize that a bit better. But yes, our search system is way simpler. So I actually do prefer theirs. And lastly, we also have this menu here, which I showed you before, uh, from where you can essentially change the theme, light mode, dark mode, if you want. 
And it's also got a really cool parallax effect to it. So as a conclusion for the UI, I think they both got very different approaches. Theirs is more traditional, like a more traditional grid view focused on individual wallpapers, whereas our approach is focused on collections of wallpapers, uh, which we call packs. I think their approach is faster if you want to quickly explore a lot of wallpapers, whereas ours is more focused on packs, much less so on individual wallpapers. And then also we have a, a more emphasis on the creator aspect uh, with the dedicated page. So what about the quality of the wallpapers? We've also got very different approaches here. So let me start off with panels. They've actually got a large variety of different aspect ratios and resolutions. Uh, some are Quad HD, some of them are 4K, and there's also a couple of wallpapers that are even 8K. So they have a pretty good mix of basically everything. Although the majority of them seem to be 4K with some exceptions. However, when you want to download them, at least for the free version, you need to watch an ad to be able to download it. And it's going to be a 30 second ad and you'll only get a 1080p version. Now it used to be two ads. So I think they've literally changed this remotely, which is really cool. Uh, but yes, you need to watch a 30 second ad to get the 1080p version of the wallpaper. Now, if you want to get the full resolution, which in this case is about 5K, then you need to subscribe with one of the membership options. Yeah, so honestly, I don't think this approach is too good. I do think this is something that Wallpapers does much, much better. So all of our Wallpapers are 7680 by 7680. Fun fact, that's 78% higher res than even 8K video. It's crazy high res. And that's all of them, no exception, all of them in the app. Now you're probably wondering why are they so high res when you, know, you don't have an 8K TV probably? Uh, well, it's because you can use them on any device. So you can use them on a 4K display, 5K display, or even an 8K display. Yes, if you use a TV as a monitor, uh, you can do that. But the cool thing about this is that you can actually crop in loads. So you can zoom in just loads and essentially turn one wallpaper into dozens or even hundreds of different wallpapers. So you'll know that no matter which wallpaper you pick, the resolution will always be consistent. We've also got no ads at all in wallpapers. And every first wallpaper of every single pack uh, is free, like always, always free, and it will always stay free. And we do have a dedicated section for this as well, where you can access all the free wallpapers. And these are all in 8K resolution, by the way. So we have close to 120 packs, which means almost 120 free wallpapers, everything in 8K one by one. And every week we're also releasing two new packs. So if you want to stay a free user, you'll get no ads and also 8K resolution. And something pretty cool that we also have is called an optimized view. So when you're downloading a wallpaper, you've got two options, download the 8K original or the optimized view. So the optimized view is something that we've got a patent in progress for, and it will always match the asset ratio and resolution of your device so that if you don't want to crop in or whatever, uh, it's always going to pixel perfectly match your screen while also saving on storage space. So let's talk about the creator approach because I believe that we are the only two wallpaper apps on the market that focus on the creator aspect. That means wallpapers are made by creators, creators get promoted and then also paid for their work. So yeah, I'm really happy to see Marquez also join this road and also create a platform that can support creators. So our approaches are actually very similar here, but there are a couple of differences. So with panels to find a creator, you tap on a wallpaper and then you'll see who made that and you tap on that and then you can see the creator profile and they've got their social. So if you want to check them out, uh, you can do it from there. It's pretty cool. My favorite thing though, is that they're doing a revenue sharing system, 50, 50 splits with the creators, which I think is great. So what about wallpapers? Well, currently our approach, like I said, it's similar, but then also different. So our creators right now, they get paid a flat fee for each of their packs. And we always try to match their rates as much as we can. Uh, we have been working on our own revenue sharing system as well. So we hope to have that ready soon. But there's a few more differences. So we have a dedicated creator page, which is where we show our top creators. So the ones that have the most downloads. So we actually show their downloads here. We also show uh, the most recent creators and then also all creators in the app. And when you tap on one of the creators, you actually get uh, a page dedicated for them with their bio and uh, just the previous packs that they made. So bit of a different approach in terms of the creator UI compared to panels. We also promote our creators in our own videos, also on our Instagram page, the one for wallpapers as well, as we want to push as much traffic as we can to their pages so that they can grow their audiences too. And by the way, if you want to become a creator for wallpapers, it's actually very simple. You can join straight from the app. So you just go here, new creators, and then you tap the button and then you get taken to a pre-configured email. And that's where you can send um, samples and uh, yeah, 
You can also do this manually if you don't want to use the app. You can just send an email to creators at wallpapersapp.com with some samples of your work. Uh, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Oh, and we also show the bio on the back of each pack. So that's also a way of uh, exploring our creators. Now, another difference is that since Marquez's wallpapers, they don't have a specific resolution, uh, creators can technically reuse any of their existing wallpapers. So for example, with Geo here, by the way, massive fan of Geo's work, uh, I can recognize some of his wallpapers that he's had uh, on his website before. So I think that's good for creators that want to upload and use some of their existing work. With wallpapers, since all of our wallpapers are 7680 by 7680, they're all designed from scratch and they're all made exclusively for wallpapers. So you won't find them anywhere else. And some of them took many, many months to make because they were, like I said, made from scratch. For example, our really talented creator, Glenn, he spent a few months working on this beautiful shapes and abscess pack. Uh, that has a very googly vibe that I absolutely love. So our main focus right now is enhancing and building upon the creator community that we've got. So supporting creators even more and bringing new creators to wallpapers. So uh, if you want to join our creator community, you can download our app and join straight from it. So what about the price? We've also got very different approaches here. So let me start with panels. They do have a free version where you can download any wallpaper, but you do have to watch one ad. Like I said, it was two, they changed it to one to be able to download the 1080p version of it. With wallpapers, the free version has no ads at all. And you can download any first wallpaper of any past, present, and future pack uh, for free. So yeah, you just pick the wallpaper and then you know you just download it in any can. You can also go to the free panel just to explore all free wallpapers. This one just dropped like right now. So yeah, I do believe we do have the better free option here. It's not perfect. There are other wallpaper apps that do have way more free content than we do but I do think we're doing a better job here. Now, in terms of the monthly subscription, with panels, you can subscribe monthly for £12 a month here in the UK, and you get access to all the wallpapers in the app. With wallpapers, we've also got a monthly subscription of £2.99, so that's four times less, and our wallpapers are also 8K, and that's for every single one of them, so yes, they are significantly higher res. Now, panels also have a yearly option, which costs £35 a year or $50 a year, which gets you every single wallpaper in the app. With wallpapers, we've got this two at $19.99, so quite a bit cheaper, or $19.99. And again, this is all in 8K resolution, so also high risk. So what about a one-time purchase? So with panels, you can buy individual packs. Now this one here is six pounds, and you seem to get one, two, three, four, five, six, roughly about six wallpapers, and in this case, this is 4K resolution, a tiny bit higher than that. With wallpapers, we've not got the option for a lifetime purchase for $29.99. This is actually launching in the next update, so we've been working on this for a while, and it's launching this week, as soon as we get approved by Google and Apple. And for this $35 price point, it's a one-time payment, you don't have to pay again, and you get all the packs in the app right now, so that's close to 120, and also all future packs to release, so 1,200 wallpapers, and 20 new wallpapers launching every week. Everything's in 8K and there's no ads and you don't have to buy subscriptions. Uh, so yeah, the lifetime purchase will be here literally in the next few days. Okay, and lastly, I wanna to touch upon the development process. Making a wallpaper app is hard. Like, I don't know the details on how Marquez has done it. I don't believe they have in-house developers in their team. So I'm assuming that they've worked with a software development company to make this, but I don't know the details. All I know is that it's really, really hard. Like for us, we made everything in here. <laughs> and here, I mean, like by me and the same team that makes the videos that you watch every single week. I came up with the idea back in 2013, ages ago when I was still at university. I made a decision to finally start it in 2020. I sketched the design, the UI for wallpapers. And in 2021, I hired Zara, who's literally being the heart and the soul of wallpapers, our sole developer. And not just that, but also front-end, back-end developer, UI designer. Zara also created her own packs as well. So major shout out to Zara. Honestly, we're so, so lucky to have you. We started prototyping in 2021 and we've had so many versions and improvements and we released in September of 2023 on September 21st, so pretty much a year ago. And honestly, there's so much work and effort that goes into wallpapers. Um, like every single one of our 1200 wallpapers in the app, I've reached out to all of our designers and I've manually reviewed and approved every single one of those wallpapers and managed the whole process. Uh, so it's, 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 a <laughs> It's a lot. Owen from my team, he's done every single social that you see in our pages. 
and also promotions in our videos. Then Connor made the Wallpapers website, all the assets that you see in our app, and he's been instrumental to our creator community from its conception to its future. And Harry made the amazing launch trailer that you've seen last year with all the amazing 3D renders, and that took like two months to make. Like everyone contributed so much, and based on your feedback, we've made a lot of improvements over the year on Wallpapers, and we'll continue to do so. I'm sure Marquez will do the same with panels. Like he's already tweeted a number of improvements, so I'm glad to see that. So yeah, I wish him the best. After all, we're both on the same mission here, creating a great platform for creators alike where creators can showcase their work, grow their audience, and then make a living. And if you want to support our work and our creator mission, you can consider downloading wallpapers for free from the Play Store and the App Store. And if you love it, a review would mean a lot. Thank you.